So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock Symmetry set. If you guys don't know, we've made some videos already for all of the classes. Hunters, you have yours right here. Titans as well. We also reviewed the armor set for whatever this set is called. It's from Season of the Forge. They're all right here. Definitely check them out. I really like a lot of these sets uh, for the Hunters and Titans. And then the review video, we just look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And then the shader video literally just show you all the my favorite shaders. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. It really does help the channel a lot. And it just made vote just motivates me to make more content for you guys. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and it, the way we're going to be looking at it is we're going to be looking at it from the helmet and all the way down usually. So that's where we're going to be doing. So for this one, it's I'm borrowing a set that I've already made. I'm just putting the helmet in there because I thought the helmet was going to look really cool with this. And I do think it looks really cool. Um, it just depends what shader you put on it. So for the helmet, obviously Symmetrist. For the arms, we're going to be using the Eyes of Mercury ornament for sun bracers which i i love these ornaments they're my favorite ornaments for warlocks for the chest piece adivastic idol vestments for the boots op opulent strix boots and then for the bond virtuous bond for the shader knight's chill specifically because it's the same blue from eyes of mercury so i really like this set i think honestly i don't think male female i think both of them look good that being said i i like the males a little bit more just barely and honestly, I would switch out the helmet for the helmet that I had for the actual set that I made for this, which I think was uh, the bird helmet, if I remember correctly. Not the opulent Strix. Oh, maybe the opulent Strix boot helmet, actually. But either way, I, I do think this looks cool. I just, I don't know what it is. It It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's just, maybe I just like the other set a little bit better. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Symmetrist Palms, which... Yeah, I don't like this one a lot, uh, specifically the arms. I don't like the arms. The set, I think it looks cool. Uh, the helmet, Starfarer's hood for the chest piece, technologic robes. For the boots, we're going to be using the efficient pursuit ornament for the swarmers, which I love these. these <laughs> I love this ornament a lot. And then the heart and basilisk bond, which this one you can switch out for really anything you want. I just like the the color on the like like the glass thing, I guess. I don't know. For the shader, Cryptic Insignia was an easy choice because it combines all the colors, specifically the cloth into one just black color, which is why I was going for. And honestly, I like this set a lot. I would probably switch out the helmet for something else. That being said, the reason I use Starfarer's hood is because I like the fact that the arms have like the pointiness to it as well. So I wanted some pointiness somewhere else, which is where the helmet came in. I will say, I think that the males look fucking wild. They look way bulkier, which is obviously makes sense. But like with the, like the context of these sets, it's just like the females look pretty good. Males, you look bulky. Like you look bulked out, dog. I like it a lot for the males, but females look really cool as well. As for the next set, I have made this. Well, technically, I should say I've made this set before. Uh, I specifically say technically because if you switch out the chest piece for the arc armor for the warlocks, this set would be very familiar to get to you guys, except that I wouldn't be using the arc like hood as well, because that's obviously what the same chest piece and the helmet. I wouldn't do that. It's one of my rules, but arc light hood is what we're using for the helmet painted Kitsune gloves for the boots. We're going to be using the alternate conduction for the for the geomag stabilizer and then for the bond ancestral bond with metro ship so that way i have no bond so this is a variation of the electrical set that i've made for my warlock and i've made this set technically a lot of times it's just variations of different things specifically like you'll always see painted kitsune and the alternate conduction usually at the same time but more so geomag i just made a lot of sets for it but this one i think it looks really really cool i don't like the arc like hood because of the fucking weird like mohawk thing i think it looks pretty terrible but i definitely like it with this set just because it looks pretty cool i don't know what to it's hard to explain the other thing is we're using 
omnicronio for all of it because it combines all of the pieces into one cohesive color that being said you can still see the distinction in the chess piece plate you can see like there's lines here and there it's because one side is one color the other side is another which is very annoying and the other reason is because omnicronia has the blue color for the glow so that's why i'm doing it because painted kitsune changes the glow so i actually like this one a lot i would say this one is my favorite if i'm being quite honest just because it looks really really good and it's like kind of like what I, you would expect the style of like my style would be like so let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least we're going to be using the osmio mancy gloves and the symmetrous balance which are the boots so helmet is going to be sunlit mark sunlit mask and then the chest piece is going to be the pyric ascent vestment and then the bond is going to be the bonded reciprocity so i like this one a lot uh surprisingly it's not bad at all i think the helmet and the chest piece is a great combo i think the arms are really good as well i think the boots is the only piece where i'm like it's pretty trash honestly i don't like the boots with this one and the bond i don't mind at all either so i yeah like i said i think it's really cool for the shader dreaming cast is what we're using just because a i really like that red color with the gold very much reminds me of like how egyptians would, would wear their colors at least that's what i assume uh yeah overall i think this one is super dope definitely not my favorite i think the last one was my favorite the one we looked at before but this one is so close because it's so so cool that being said the first one is definitely my favorite like all around just because well i should say it's my favorite with the older set because that one just looks amazing so warlocks let me know what you guys think that i do you guys justice let me know in the comments below remember if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help and expect uh me to take a little vacation not vacation because i'm gonna be grinding destiny 2 like crazy we're gonna be doing uh a lot of stuff i actually might record some of it so that way you guys can see like what i've what i'm doing kind of like a like a come with me to see how far i can go with grinding all this shit that i need to grind even though i don't want to do it uh, because it's mostly just me playing the seasonal activities from all of the stuff because I still don't, like I don't have any of the titles from the seasons uh, Which is kind of concerning so I'm gonna have to do that But it's not that annoying because a, a lot of it if not all of it is not like Weekly locked, which is great So most of it I should be able to get if I don't that's fine the most the thing that I'm like really worried about is just getting the weapons I think the weapons are the most important thing That being said, I don't think I'm missing any weapons I'll aside from the season of the deep um not the not the taken weapons the regular weapons the from season of the drifter because uh those you can't there there's no red borders for those so <clears throat> oh excuse me for whatever whatever you get is whatever you get so that's i'm gonna be grinding that a lot fishing i think i'm gonna do as well so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later